St. Louis has its famous Gateway Arch. New York, the Statue of Liberty. Here in the Mile High City, it's kind of creepy. We have this guy, a 32 foot. I call it the devil horse. Known simply as Mustang. It's like just amazing that when you see this, this Bronco sitting out there, you know you like a Bronco country. Maybe so, but we're just getting started. As you just heard, many feel this electric blue Mustang is way too demonic. Others say he's as cool as the big blue bear and perfect for Colorado. Yet another opinion is he's not art and a waste of taxpayer money. Other questions, is he cursed? Is he here to stay? Is he the work of an undercover Raiders fan? So how did this 9,000 pound electric blue Mustang with glowing red eyes end up on Pena Boulevard? Let's go on a 360 gallop to find some answers. First, a little background. In 1993, sculptor Luis Jimenez was commissioned to create a public art project for DIA. He's got work in the Met um, and the Smithsonian. He's, he's a, you know, one of the leaders in contemporary sculpture. DIA spokesperson Emily Williams says Jimenez created the Mustang to capture Denver's pioneering Western spirit. But what's with those Damien eyes. The artist fashioned those eyes as a tribute to his father who owned a neon shop in New Mexico. The eyes are actually LED, but any further insight is shrouded in mystery. Jimenez had a major problem with deadlines as his deed neared completion in 2006, 13 years late, and now at a cost of 650 grand, tragedy struck. A large chunk of the pony broke loose and crushed the artist to death. Because of this tragic accident that some people believe that Mustang might be cursed, he has locally the nickname Lucifer. Lucifer was finally installed two years later to almost universal scorn. A Facebook group formed calling for his removal. But that's good art, right? The art is meant to spark a conversation. Columbus visitor Kaylee Warren. Extremely strange. Still doesn't get it. Every time we come here, its eyes glow red. It's really, really creepy. Others, like Deb Lundberg, an attention getter. are more forgiving. The red eyes are kind of a eye catcher, so. It's also anatomically correct. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Which, I guess that's okay. <laughs> Remember, Denver is also home to these guys, and of course, the big blue bear. We're used to interesting artwork. But somehow, this horse looked like a bizarro world version of our beloved Broncos mascot. It's just weird. <laughs> what do you think? On Facebook, Jesse Lynch commented, he can ride off into the sunset, creeps my girls out every time we drive past him. John chimed in, I'm torn. He's awesome, but scary. Then there's Lucifer's price tag, which is a common complaint. In reality, though, Lucifer was funded by the airport's enterprise fund and not taxpayer dollars. So is Lucifer art? Ginger White with Denver Parks and Venues says beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I love that we're bold enough as a city to put something out there that, um, you know, maybe not uh, everyone loves. And I think that says a lot about who we are. Meanwhile, time has healed old wounds. The city says after a decade, calls to remove Mustang have virtually disappeared. And he's earned his place among other quirky Denver landmarks. Many people say from a distance, Mustang looks scary or maybe even a little possessed. But when you get up close, yeah, he's still pretty creepy. So what's next for the Blue Stallion? Love him or hate him, it appears he's here to stay. And like a galloping phoenix rising from the ashes, this demonic charger looms over our fair city, proudly displaying a decade of battle scars, even winning over skeptics like Kaylee Warwick. Sort of. Even though I do think it's creepy, I think now when I come here, I expect to see it. So there's that. Giddy up. Tom Mustin, Denver 7.